Hi, Mark here from PondAlgaeSolutions.com. And you know, we get a lot of questions about pond aeration because it's such a vital thing to use or a vital tool to use when you're working against pond algae problems. And uh, some of those questions range from, well, how is it going to help my pond? What does it actually do? How does it work? If I install one, how complicated is that? How do I fit one to my pond size? A lot of excellent questions. And so I wanted to share with you a video clip now that was actually produced by Airmax Ecosystems. It talks about their system specifically, but you can apply it to virtually any subsurface aeration package in terms of how they work and how to install one. And so I wanted to share that with you now, and I'll be back at the end to close this video out with a few other tips uh, and how you can contact us if you have questions. In the next few minutes, you will learn step by step how easy it is to install an Airmax aeration system. A few simple decisions have to be made before you start the installation process. First, what is the depth of your pond? Depth plays a role when deciding on the correct air max aeration system for your pond. The deeper a diffuser plate is placed in your pond, the more area it can effectively aerate. As diffused air rises from the diffuser plate, it creates a V pattern, gaining width and affecting a larger area as it makes its way to the surface. The farther the air travels, the larger the pattern, circulating a greater volume of water. For ponds greater than 6 feet deep, a pond series high pressure system is required. For ponds less than 6 feet deep, you will have the option of either a pond series or a shallow water series system. Please contact Air Max or your local dealer for help with selecting the correct system. The second decision that needs to be made is where is your power source located? Is your power source located near the pond shore or by a house, barn or shed? When deciding on a location, choose a place above the high water line and away from sprinkler heads. One of the unique benefits of an Air Max aeration system is the fact that power is not needed at the shore. Unlike other aeration devices on the market, Air Max aeration systems can be placed up to a thousand feet from the pond shore without any loss in performance, allowing for a lower cost of installation without the need of a licensed electrician. If power is not available nearby, and you choose to place your silent air cabinet away from the pond shore, all that is needed is a shallow trench, approximately 8 inches in depth, and Air Max Direct Burial Airline, sold separately. Air Max Direct Burial Airline is designed to be placed directly underground, without the need of a PVC pipe or other protection. If a trench is needed, Air Max highly recommends that you call and have your underground utilities located and marked before you start any digging. The final decision to make before installation is your diffuser placement. Diffuser placement is very important to the overall effectiveness of your air max aeration system. If you're installing only one diffuser, set the diffuser in the largest area of the pond, attempting to place it at the deepest point of that area. If you have multiple diffusers, split your pond into sections and follow the same step in each section. It is a good idea to use a string with a sinker or weight and a buoy or empty plastic container as a marker. This will give you a target when placing your diffuser from a boat or raft. Now it is time to gather your tools and supplies. You'll need the following. A standard flathead screwdriver, shovel, Coast Guard approved life jacket, level, landscape rake, utility razor knife, placement rope, small stone or gravel, and a boat or raft. It is always recommended that you wear a life jacket and never attempt to perform this installation alone. You are now ready to place your cabinet. You will need to prepare the area where the cabinet is being installed. Simply place the cabinet on the ground where you've chosen to install it. Trace an area about 6 inches wider than the cabinet on all four sides with a shovel or with the use of marking paint. Remove the sod or loose dirt where the cabinet is going to be placed. Fill in with fine stone or gravel. This provides a solid base for the cabinet and allows for proper drainage. Remember to always place your cabinet several feet higher than the highest water line of your pond to avoid flooding in the spring or during heavy rains. This is also important to think about when placing the shallow water diffusers. The depth should never exceed what is recommended for the shallow water system. Heavy rains may cause the water to exceed the recommended depth damaging or causing accelerated wear to the compressor. 
Once the ground is prepped, place the cabinet and use a small level to ensure the cabinet rests securely and is level. With the cabinet set, you're ready to trench to the pond's edge. If your trench is going to be more than several feet away from the shore, or in an area that is going to receive traffic from a lawn tractor or other piece of equipment, it is recommended that you use Air Max Direct Burial Airline, or place the EasySet self-weighted airline in a piece of PVC pipe to protect it from crushing in the ground. Be sure that your trench is at least 8 inches in depth. For longer trenches, you may need to connect multiple rolls of Direct Burial Airline together. If you're operating multiple plates, you will need to run a separate airline for each diffuser. Once all of the airline is placed in the trench, you will need to connect your airline to the cabinet using the provided connector kits. Backfill a few areas to keep the airline in place. Do not backfill the entire trench at this point. We will come back to this later. Unroll the EasySet airline. Having the airline unrolled will make the installation much easier by removing any twists or possible kinks in the airline. Connect your EasySet airline to the direct burial airline using the provided connector kits. You are now ready to assemble your Air Max Pro Air diffuser plates. This is very simple and should only take a few minutes. For Pro Air 4 diffuser plates, align the diffuser manifold with one diffuser sled, hand tighten two membrane sticks, repeat for the second diffuser sled. Depending on the size of your airline, screw on a corresponding reducer fitting. Pro Air 2 shallow water diffusers are just as easy to assemble. Simply thread the two membrane sticks directly into the manifold. Once your diffusers are assembled, connect the EasySet airline. After the airlines are connected and the diffusers are assembled, it is time to prepare your system for startup. Plug your compressor and cooling fan into the power outlet inside of the cabinet. Then connect the power cord coming from the cabinet to the standard ground fault circuit interrupter, also known as a GFCI outlet. The system should now be running. The next step is to install the diffusers. There are two options when installing the diffusers. The first option is to use a boat or raft. One person sits in the boat and the second person hands him or her one diffuser with a connected EasySet airline. As you begin to row out to the diffuser placement area, the person on shore guides the airline. Avoid any twists in the airline, for this may cause the diffuser to move away from the intended area when it is released from the boat. When you have reached the area where the diffuser is to be placed, simply release the diffuser into the water. The diffuser is weighted and will require no additional weights to sink. With the system running, you can easily watch to see if the diffuser shifts when it is underwater. Once you're comfortable with the diffuser placement, repeat these steps until all diffusers are in position. The second diffuser installation option works for smaller ponds where you may not have a boat or raft. One person stands on one side of the pond while the other walks the diffuser around the pond to the other side. A nylon rope is then looped through the diffuser. Do not tie the rope to the diffuser. While one person pulls the diffuser by the airline, the other will guide the diffuser using the nylon rope. Once the diffuser is in the correct position, release the nylon rope from the diffuser and pull it to shore. Repeat these steps for all diffusers. With systems having multiple diffusers, you may see a difference in the amount of bubbles coming from each location. The diffuser in the deepest water, or with the longest run, may require more pressure to operate than the other diffusers. Adjustments to the valve should be made for maximum performance. Once adjustments are made, wait several minutes to see results at each diffuser location. Your overall system pressure will depend on the length of the airline and depth of the deepest diffuser in the pond. Generally, you will build one PSI for every two feet of depth. In a typical pond that is 12 feet deep, the system will operate at approximately 6 to 8 PSI. With the system up and running, check for leaks along the trench, especially where any connections were made. If all is well, complete the backfill. Be sure not to put any large rocks or sharp objects back into your trench. These objects could puncture the airline and cause air leaks in the future. Depending on the condition of your pond and the time of year you are installing your system, you may need to slowly introduce your AirMax system to your pond. 
If your pond is severely stratified, you may bring the toxic water from the bottom of your pond to the surface too quickly, causing your pond to turn over, resulting in fish stress or loss. Your pond would be most prone to this turnover effect during the warm summer months. If you notice an odor after turning on your system or see a difference in the water color around the diffuser, your pond is more than likely stratified. For this reason, run your system for a half hour the first day and double the time each day until you reach 24 hours. You will notice after this introduction period that the odors will go away and your pond will start its natural cleaning process. Simple maintenance involves regularly checking your air filter and air intake pre-filter. These air filters should be checked monthly and replaced every three to six months. A clean air filter will greatly increase the life expectancy of your system. For more information on maintenance and troubleshooting, please see your owner's manual or our online video series at airmaxeco.com. Well, what do you think? Pretty helpful information, isn't it? Very well done. Uh, love that video segment. And, uh, you know, it's true, there really isn't anything that you could do for a pond's health compared to putting in a subsurface aeration system. They are very, very powerful tools, not only for water quality and controlling algae issues or helping to deal with algae issues by stimulating naturally occurring bacteria or beneficial bacteria that's supplemented into the pond. As well, you know, putting one in really isn't that complicated. People are doing it all the time across the country. Uh, and it's a straightforward process. Maintenance is minimal and they cost very little to operate. So it's a great investment in your pond and we highly encourage you to at least research it to find out if it's something that can help you in your situation there. At any rate, as always, if you have questions about pond aeration, pond algae, or anything in general with your pond, please don't hesitate to contact us at pondalgesolutions.com. We're happy to help and I hope you have a great day wherever you are.